There's three main types of filtration. You've got mechanical, chemical, and biological filtration with your Pennsylvania Trout in the Classroom program. When water first enters your Fluval 407, it's going to filter both mechanically and biologically through your filter sponges. Next, it's going to come up through the compartments on the other side of your filter. In the bottom compartment, we have more sponges. Again, that's going to provide both mechanical and biological filtration. The next thing we're going to have is filter media that comes with your Fluval 407 filter. And when you first open up your filter brand new, your filter media is going to be in plastic bags. It's important that you remove that media from the plastic bags and that you rinse it prior to its first use. The next compartment we are going to have our Secum 75 Tidal Matrix that comes in your PATIC kit. Same thing, you'll want to remove this from the plastic bags and give it a good rinse with the same water you used for your source water for your PATIC aquarium prior to you putting it in the compartment. In the last housing we're going to have our chemical filtration. So this is the type of filtration that's going to help improve and maintain your water quality. Your Fluval 407 will come with some activated carbon. It's also a good idea to get some ChemiPure. You can use one bag of the activated carbon and one bag of the ChemiPure to keep your water healthy. Now we're going to install the internal components of our Fluval 407, the internal components that house all of our filter media. First, we're going to install the filter sponges that help provide that mechanical and biological filtration. We're going to do this by keeping the blue egg crate sponges pointed towards the outside of the filter. We go to do this, remember, we're gonna keep that blue egg crate facing out we're going to have the front of the filter facing towards you as it is right now. And how we can tell what the front of our filter is, is with this notch that's in the front right here. And you'll really get to see that when we go to put the lid on. But you're going to make sure that you just slide that down, make sure it's seated all the way on the bottom, and now you've installed your sponges. Well, let's put together the filter media that goes on the opposite side of our housing. We're gonna start with that filter media that comes with your Fluval 407. This is going to provide that biological filtration. It's going to provide lots of surface area for that bacteria to grow. We're gonna slide that over the bottom. Sponges that also come with the Fluval 407. The next housing is going to have that Tidal 75. It's crushed up even smaller to provide more surface area for that beneficial bacteria. Next, we'll install the housing that goes on top, which has that chemical filtration in the form of our ChemiPure, as well as the activated carbon that comes with your Fluval 407. Well, you'll see when we do that, we've got a little red hole in the top handle that we can grab. So we'll slide that right down in. And finally, we're going to install the lid for that portion of our filter media. Prior to installing the lid assembly, which houses our impeller and components that are going to help drive water through the Fluval 407, we need to fill the housing with water. That's going to come in handy when it comes to priming. Again, using the same source water that you use to fill your aquarium. Now that we've filled our Fluval 407 housing with water, it's time to install our lid assembly. It's always a good idea to inspect some components before you put this on. The first component I'm going to inspect is our O-ring that's going to help keep water inside of our Fluval 407 and from leaking all out of where these two components come together. When you inspect an O-ring, it's just a good idea to bend it like that Make sure there's not too many cracks and splits. That way we're going to ensure that this creates a good seal when we put this lid on. Next, we're going to install this O-ring where we have this gap. 
So I'm going to install that O-ring. Like so. Next, we want to inspect our impeller. The impeller can be accessed via this tab that lifts this cover. You want to make sure that there's no obstructions or that there doesn't look like there's any visible damage to your impeller. Then we'll go ahead and install that cover. When installing the lid assembly, take note of how we talked about this notch and how that's going to help us identify the front of our Fluval 407. Right here, you'll see the same cutout where it actually says 407. That fits right down into our notch. So we're going to utilize these gray tabs to secure everything and lock this lid assembly in place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out on the top and bottom of each tab and I'm gonna place the bottom of each tab and hold pressure inward towards the housing. While I do that, I'm going to pull in the tops of each tab. And that is going to lock our lid assembly in place. Now we're going to install our inflow and our outflow assembly with hoses. If this is your first time setting up your Fluval 407, your hoses aren't already going to come pre-cut and measured for how you are setting up your inflow and outflow. When you are doing that, it's always important to remember to measure twice, three, four times, only make one cut because you can't take that cut back once you make it. Everyone is going to have a different location for where they can put their filter. So how you measure those hoses is going to be extremely important. When we're talking about our inflow for the Fluval 407, that inflow assembly is going to come brand new like this. We have a filter max pre-filter that's going to come in your PATIC equipment. It's very important that you install this filter on the end of your inflow. That way, when you release those little fry into your aquarium, they don't all get sucked into your filter. We can do this by simply just removing the filter intake that comes with the hoses and install our filter max pre-filter like so. So let's install the assembly for our inflow and outflow. You'll notice that our assembly has a red lever in the form of this large tab. You wanna make sure that this is in the up position. At this point, it's a good idea to also inspect the O-rings for your inflow and outflow. You can inspect these O-rings in the same manner that you inspected the large O-ring for the lid assembly. I'm just going to make sure there's no excessive splits and numerous cracks by spinning those O-rings around and bending them slightly. As we're looking towards the front of our Fluval housing, remember now that we've got the lid assembly installed, 407 is on the front. That red tab is facing forward. We're going to place that assembly down into the two holes and drop the tab.